It has now been three weeks since I launched a brand new channel called Jack Sucks at Clips. And basically this channel is my shorts channel. So every single day at the same time, 4 p.m. UK, I release a short clip from one of my previous videos. So for example, Jack Sucks at Life reacts to his pink hair for the very first time. One minute long video. Let's give a little bit of it a watch. <laughs> okay, that's it. It's just a one minute long YouTube video taken from the full dyeing my hair pink for Mr. Beast YouTube video that I released on Jack Sucks Alive. So there's about 25 different videos on the channel at this point and they're all kind of under a minute long generally. So a lot of people have been asking me, what's the analytics like? Is it worth it making a shorts channel at the moment? Can you make any money on videos that are this short? Well today all of your questions will be answered because we are doing a Jack Sucks Eclipse analytics video. So let's get into it. So I launched the channel a few weeks ago primarily because I wanted to beat my Guinness World Record and this was the easiest way to do that so we managed to get to 100,000 subscribers in I think it was just under 48 hours which is absolutely unreal thanks everyone that subscribed by the way if you haven't subscribed as I've said there are videos every day so click the link in the description subscribe to Jackson's Eclipse now if we go on to Social Blade this is all public info that you can all search for yourself let's look at how many views all of my different YouTube channels have had over the last 30 days so starting with the smallest active YouTube channel Jackson's Geography has had half a million views over the last 30 days and that's with an upload once a week. Jack's up YouTube channel full of fun times before I would kiss also with weekly uploads 1.3 million views for the last 30 days. Jack Massey Welsh channel weekly uploads again 2.2 million views in the last 30 days but then Jack Sucks Eclipse the newest channel only three weeks old 2.7 million views in the last 30 days and the channel hasn't even existed for 30 days. So because Jack Sucks Eclipse uploads every single day even if those videos don't get particularly high views they add up and now this relatively new channel is getting more views than three of my other channels. And this channel that you're watching, Jack Sucks at Stuff, has had 2.8 million views in the last 30 days, compared to Jack Sucks Eclipse just behind at 2.7 million. So by the end of the month, Jack Sucks Eclipse will have had more monthly views than Jack Sucks at Stuff. Even though Jack Sucks at Stuff has half a million subscribers, I upload like three times a week, there's a backlog of like several hundred videos, and it is already being beaten by Jack Sucks Eclipse. All right, now let's log into Jack Sucks Eclipse and we can see the actual analytics. I've got revenue blurred at the minute but I shall reveal how much money this channel has earned so far shortly. Also all this analytics talk it's getting me all warm so I need to take my hoodie off and I gotta mention it for continuity purposes. So you can see in the last 28 days, we have gained 142,000 subscribers, which is also how many subscribers the channel has in total, because it launched like 25 days ago. Because of this, all the analytics are messed up. Our views are up by 999%, and so is our watch time. And revenue, once again, I will get to shortly. Let's take a look at our most recent subscribe. Why am I not my most subscribed subscriber? What the heck? I'm subscribed to Jack Sucks Eclipse. Look, I'm logged in as Jack Sucks Alive, and I'm subscribed. I can't turn notifications on because YouTube's bugged, but whatever. Okay, never mind. Just forget about it, Jack. Forget it about it. Before I go deeper into the analytics, what I want to say is that my new YouTube Shorts channel doesn't actually have any YouTube Shorts. <laughs> actually, I take it back. I do have one YouTube Short, and that's this video. It's my reaction to actually hitting 100k, and as you can see, this is a YouTube Short because it is below one minute long, but also it's a vertical video. It's like the dimensions of a phone. Now, YouTube Shorts, they're a new thing on YouTube. Basically, they're like making their own version of TikTok. So they have their own separate algorithm for YouTube Shorts. So this video, because it fits the the criteria it will have gone into the algorithm it will have got a few more views because of it but at the moment YouTube shorts don't make any money whereas this video with Tommy in it because it's horizontal rather than vertical we earned 63 pound from that video that's an extra 63 pound from a re-uploaded clip from something that I did like 10 months ago 63 pounds pretty epic so yes even though I would probably get more views if I uploaded all of these as shorts which basically means we just have to render them as vertical videos as opposed to horizontal ones and they'd need to be under one minute long. We'd get more views that way, but we'd earn more money just uploading them like this. And then if things change in the future with YouTube Shorts and people start being able to earn revenue from them, I've got the perfect channels already set up and established where I can start uploading Shorts. So at the minute, I made the decision to upload once a day on this YouTube channel. A few other clip channels have popped up recently. Zerka's Shorts channel's doing really well. We've got basically the same amount of subscribers, but you can see that he is actually uploading like <laughs> bloody Nora. He's uploading like 10 times a day, which is a bit mad and quite a lot of the videos, they're getting traction, they're getting into the algorithm. Now this would put me off subscribing to Zerka Shorts because I don't want my sub box to be flooded, but I suppose because this is a bonus channel, his priority is views as opposed to subscribers, so it doesn't matter if people are subscribed or not. These videos are still going to pop up in their recommended, but I personally don't want to upload more than once because I want the subscribers, I want the play buttons, and also once a day means we could probably keep it going indefinitely, whereas like 10 times a day, 
I would run out of clips pretty quick because I'm not a streamer. So the way we've run this channel so far is basically Becky and I worked together getting the first 20 clips all scheduled uploaded before the channel was even publicly launched. So that means that all of these videos that you can see here, they were all just scheduled uploaded from day one. And in the description of each Jack Sucks of Clips, I added a Google form where people can submit an idea they've got from a clip based on a previous Jack Sucks of Life video they've watched. So once these like 20 scheduled uploaded videos ran out, all I did was I went into the submissions, went through them all, picked out the ones which were good ideas, then Becky cut them down, uploaded them, and then I just did like the titles. And before we knew it, after just one day's work, that's another 30 videos scheduled uploaded. So if I scroll up, wait for this, you ready? Oh, scheduled, 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 oh my god! <laughs> so basically, that's a day's work for me and Becky to get a month's worth of content for Jack Sucks at Clips put together. So now the big question, how much money has Jack Sucks at Clips earned since its launch? And the answer is £859.77, which one day's work, that's pretty epic. And if we actually click here, you can see that the channel wasn't monetized for the first, what's that, seven videos? Because I needed the 4,000 hours of watch time. And then from then on, the channel was monetized and you can see that we were earning at a minimum of 24 pounds a day. And if we upload a video with Tommy in it in the title, that goes up to 97 pounds in a day. <laughs> now you will see for some reason data's missing here. I'm sure that'll fix at some point, but you will see that the channel's earnings and the channel's views have been on a decline within the last week. Now there's a lot of different factors for that. That might just be that people have gotten a bit bored of the clips. So maybe this isn't something that we continue forever. Or maybe it's just that the clips that I've uploaded haven't had Tommy in it in the title. <laughs> but I don't mind because very little time's gone into this and it's all just re-uploaded content. So I don't feel disappointed if we upload a clip and it doesn't do very well. So we've got 18 days of monetized content in front of us. So let's see if we can work out an estimate for like a full month of earnings. So we're going to divide our 800 pound by 18 and then we'll just times that by 30. So after one month of monetized videos, Jack Sucks Eclipse will hopefully make about 1,432 pounds, which is amazing extra revenue for just one day's worth of work, putting titles and choosing clips together. I don't know if Jack Sucks Eclipse will go forever. It might be that after three months, the views are so low that we decide maybe it's not worth it. Or it might be that after three months, a bunch of the videos are really hitting in the algorithm and Jack Sucks Eclipse is getting 10 times as many views as Jack Sucks at Life each month. Who knows? Obviously, I would prefer the latter, but if it's the former, it doesn't matter because this is a no pressure channel with just re-uploaded clips. So what we'll do now is we'll see how much difference the length of the video actually makes. So this is the longest video on the channel. It's a five minute compilation of every single play button that I've ever unboxed and it got 50,000 views. You can see that it is monetized because adverts are popping up in front of it. And with those 50,000 views, the video earned 56 pounds, which is like $75. So that's one pound per thousand views. That's epic. But now let's look at this 39 second video, which has roughly the same amount of views. That's 39 seconds compared to five minutes. That video earned 23 pounds. So about the same amount of views, but because it's much shorter, it earned about half as much. Now let's go even shorter. We've got another video with about 50,000 views, but it is only 14 seconds long. That video earned 69 pence. <laughs> but in all fairness, that is based on just one day because of when this came out. So I guess looking at that, the rule is the longer the video, the more money you are going to make. It does seem like if the video gets past the one minute mark, that does make quite a substantial difference. But taking everything that I've said into account, if you are, you know, a fairly substantially sized YouTuber, it's worth making a clips or a shorts channel because you will get some views out of it and you will earn some extra revenue from it as well. After Memulus saw Jack Sucks Eclipse, he messaged me asking if I thought it was worth it. And before we knew it, Memulus shorts existed and his videos are really going into the algorithm. Most of them are getting more views than he's got subscribers. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got 700,000 views on this Tommy Init one. I've already used up all my Tommy Init clip opportunities. I only had about four of them in the bank. What am I meant to do now? There's some new features in YouTube Analytics. I've not actually looked at what these are on Jack Sucks Eclipse, but look, other channels that your audience watches. So most people that watch Jack Sucks Eclipse, they also watch Tommy Init, makes sense. Then they watch Jack Sucks at Life, Jack Sucks at Stuff, that also makes sense. And then the user unnamed and Baby Rage, which aren't channels that I'm familiar with, but that's very interesting that they pop up. Let's see what kind of content they do and see if we can get it to make sense. It's more clip content, which looks like it's based around like Tommy and Dream SMP players. So that's why they're in there. And I'm assuming Baby Rage is probably the same. Yes, yes, they are. So you can see these fan clips channels, they're getting more views than my official clips channels. And that's why I had the idea to create Jack Sucks Eclipse. Because I saw these short videos that fans were making were doing well, and I just wanted to monopolize my own market, if you know what I mean. And I decided to make my own fan videos. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> no one wants to make Jack Sucks at Life fan videos, so I make my own Jack Sucks at Life fan videos. But we earned 800 quid for it, so it's okay. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this analytics video interesting. I've not done an analytics video for quite a while, which is surprising. 
amazing. But make sure to subscribe to Jack Sucks' stuff. We want 1 million subs this year on this channel. And also subscribe to Jack Sucks' clips as well because there's daily videos every single day at 4pm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.